Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Hilal Live. It's What's On, where we let you know what's happening in and around our beautiful city and maybe some parts of South Africa as well. If you'd like to tell us about something happening in your area, you're more than welcome to email me, lukman at hilal.tv, and uh, we'll get hold of you and try and give you a feature on this show. Um, but Fahim still in studio, and uh, we now we chatted to Charmaine. We're now chatting about uh, some of the events, markets that are happening in Cape Town. What do you have for us this week? Absolutely. So I mean, it's interesting because when you listen to somebody like Charmaine talk about a play like Expelled, which mm-hmm. deals with social media and the impact of it, the, the good and the bad and the of bad. it, and we all know we've all experienced it in one way or another. Um, and the good, of course, one of the good ways of experiencing it is when... Um, you are able to promote what you have to of do, course to share with people what it is that you're going to do mm-hmm. and um so and also I've, take pictures and videos and you know encourage you know. people to come I mean, through we know that um, there's so many people also sort of show look i'm living my best life and behind <laughs> closed doors they <laughs> it's not really quite that. they're not quite not quite the same thing they, they're popping their depressing <laughs> pills and things sure. um but but the good thing is the fact that you are able to share um on market so so since um Coming in on a Friday evening with you, I sort of switched my interest to markets and kind nice. of see what markets are going on. I am surprised at the number of markets that are going on. Look, at at different levels, various degrees, mm-hmm. some of them are um, a lot um, smaller, um, they're more community-based, um, but these markets exist. So in a, whenever I'm going to talk about markets, I want to sort of say to people, listen, if you like the culture of markets, which is clearly one that South Africa is embracing because there are so many markets and they're all very popular and right. very busy. Mm. Um, and so I thought with Ramadan coming up, um, and there's always a bit of a worry and you know, kind of everybody's you know, saying, oh, shopping and get food and mm-hmm. you know, it's always a, but we'll be ready for it. We're always ready Absolutely. for it. We've been yep. doing it for years. Um, so there's a couple of really interesting markets. And one of the newer ones that I discovered, and as I said, this again is through social media, mm-hmm. um, the, the good side of social media, is called Aspire Promotions and the venue okay. aspired. Okay. So they present this, and they're in Scarf Crowd. That's the, the, the venue um, is called um, um, the Aspired, um, um, uh, something to the, I think it's Aspired venue. Okay. It's an interesting name. I am, I'd not heard of it before. Yeah. So they're doing a market on the 24th of um, February and on the 25th. So okay. there's still time people, uh, over a weekend, exactly. So that uh, p- uh, people can look out for that. That's uh, around the corner. And what is great about what they're doing is that they've got a kind of the world-renowned um, um, Sheikh Mohammed Ayub Asif from the UK, who's going to do... Um, Zakari. Yeah. Kari, exactly. we, we featured him last year at the Spice Maker oh, Market. Oh, did you? Yeah, he's okay. amazing. He's from so the he's UK. back this year. Yes, he's, he's, he's back this year. absolutely amazing. I also can't come up with anything new with you. If I, <laughs> if I try to, then you've covered it before. It's you've not about it me, before. though. It's, it's no, about no, our no, audience. Or, 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 but, just, but also, your, um, you know, certainly um, in LAL TV, it's great <laughs> that they do cover a, so, so much of what's going on. Mm-hmm. But what I think is great for me about this is the fact that there's kind of also a program nice. of, of attached. you know, like, like you know, attached to it, like, like, like the reciting, you know, and and I think that that makes it beautiful. You can just sit there and and and, yeah, and sure. listen. Um, and they, of course, they they've got kiddies activities. Nice. They've got uh, uh, talk shows. So there's a whole program around this, and I was very pleased to discover this and bump into this um, mm-hmm. event, um, which I didn't know about. Um, but they've got fashion. Uh, Islamic fashion. Okay. They've got Islamic art. Nice. You know, so everything Islamic um, and and a wide variety. The 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 so one. It's a family th- outing. It's a f- you absolutely. Know, you can take your entire there, family. There's lots of kids' activities, which I think is always important. Right. Um, you know, and those activities will probably stop once Ramadan starts of because course. you don't want to have the kids to active during the day. They might be yomuk. Mm, they themselves yeah, are tired. You run out of things you, with the kids to do. You know, and so um, um, I, I, it's great that, that they, I'm looking forward to it. In fact, I, I plan to... Uh, well, certainly. I'll probably pop around as well. And, mm. and one of the things I like is in that area of Scarf Kral is that you've got this entire area that's just open yes. countryness. Yes. Absolutely. Which is not too far from where we stay. No. Uh, Ten minutes, basically. Uh, but you're out in the country. It Absolutely. gives you that that type yeah. of vibe. Yeah. Uh, that I'm looking forward to that. I, I'm from, I, it really did um, appeal to me a lot. Um, and the thing is, adults only pay 20 rand. Okay. Kids under 12, it's free. They okay. don't have to pay to go in. So I can really highly recommend it. Um, the, 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 they have as, as much as um, 
health products, uh, you know, beauty products. Um, you know, so, so the range of what they're going to have on show, and again, mm. fantastic for the vendors. Nice. I'm always make, there make for the vendors, bucks. I think, because side hustle, as I always say, yes. is, is, is very, very important. That I the, like that. The rate of things are... So that's happening on the 20th? 24th. And 25th. And the 25th. Of, Pay weekend. Uh, well, there we go. That's why they plan them accordingly. <laughs> um, another very nice market that um, I came across is the... Husami Masjid in Cravenby. Yes. So they're having a market on the 2nd of March. Ah. And what I love about what they have advertised, what they've got um, available for people, they've got iftar packs. Nice. Burfi, of course, my okay. favorite, Ooh, Islamic wear, novelties, health products, okay. savories. So again, it's always about food, but not entirely about food. And I think that's what's good is that people go there. If you're going to spend two, three hours, walking about a market, you want to be able to at least also have some meals and yes. some food in between. And, and that's what, what's I, what I like it. about that community, it's such a tight-knit community. Yeah. Yes. The Craven Bee community. Absolutely. And it's very well supported yeah. because they, they sometimes it's far and few between that they do have activities out there. Yeah. So the community looks forward to it. And yeah. I can tell you this is an annual event. Absolutely. I haven't been, but yeah. I'm sure it's an annual um, event. It, you know, it's, uh, again, I came across it for the first time and I kind of I have friends in in the area, okay, um, but they've never kind of mentioned it before. But then again, of course, I never showed an interest in markets before. Gotcha. So, but yeah. I mean, it's it's brilliant. The second of March is just you know yeah. a week next weekend week before the um, um, uh, you know before Ramadan, Ramadan starts. starts. You can start getting your head around things, especially for you know uh, women who are wanting to get themselves organized and stock themselves up so they don't have to rush, of course, from work and things. So. Um, and then, of course, we have the, 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 the one that is the popular spa, mm -hmm. Cape Town Expo, mm -hmm. in uh, a different venue this year. Mm -hmm. They are at the Odom Woolen. I uh, saw that in Pinelands. In Pinelands, yeah. Okay, they had so, it at the Old Mutual last year. Correct. And now it's at Odom Woolen. They even had it at Greenpoint. Uh, okay, uh, so fun fact. You'll be surprised to know this. Yeah. The very first Ramadan market yeah. was at my business in 2010 that we had. That Wait, was the very first in Cape Town. One, in Cape Town. My word is it? That's, uh, that's where the concept started. I offered my business up. We used the venue. And that was the very first, uh, the, that radio station that began yeah. the market, uh, had it at my venue. Oh, my word. That's amazing. Yeah. And look, it's grown. And I've been, I mean, when I worked with that radio station, I think I must have been at, it's probably, they're probably now the, the 13th or 14th, uh, 14th one will be. Yeah. Well, minus COVID. So mm -hmm. minus two. Yeah. Uh, I think I was there for seven or eight. Yeah. Uh, of those markets, I was. I think it. I can't remember whether it was during COVID, but it was Greenpoint um, the track. It was at the track. You're right. Th that was two or three years ago. It was just after COVID. They resumed. That's it. And the traffic was amazing. Like it was backed up um, because. But Greenpoint it was track. a brilliant venue. It was outside. To have that. It, it was. was it was open. very nice. And that track. Oh, we all have history with that track. True. You know, if you if you Cape Town, True. Cape or in Cape Town and. Uh, you know, it was the spot where my dad and a lot of the the the, the, the sports a lot of history, today, he, the, especially in sports. Yeah. that's where they kind of. What, um, what was the different. chant that your school used to chant? He commons BP knows at a holiday, or what is it? Something. <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> that brought can, back memories, I'm, right? Yes, no, exactly. Um, I just kind of I only remember the vulgar ones that, <laughs> that other people used to sing, and then you think, oh, I can't get this out of my ear now. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. us usta all of those kind of things. You know, then you yeah. think, okay, and it was just to to fight. Um, but I do remember our um, motto, yeah. Volente nihil difficile. Nothing okay. is difficult ah. uh, in Latin. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, apparently. You know, these markets are, you know, one of the things I do enjoy is that um, you bump into people that you have not seen for years and years and years. And it's that old connection yeah. that you resume yeah. and the conversations that, I, I promise you, if you sit in the food court, you would just experience that. Do you know, People bumping into each other. Look, man, that's precisely why I've enjoyed switching over to sort of start looking at markets. And because I have been going to markets, but often not as as much as I do lately. Mm -hmm. It's precisely because you are bound to bump into people that you know. And that suddenly you share a table with yeah. them. But did they tell you that they saw you on Hilal TV when they bump into you? Sometimes. They Sometimes. Do, yeah, they yeah. should do it more often. Mm -hmm. Guys, you need to tell Fahim <laughs> that you've seen him on Hilal yeah. TV and you like, acknowledge yeah. his work. No, but But... Those, those are the conversations yeah. that you have. Those are the, the beautiful Absolutely. memories that you hold on to. It's such a community spirit yeah. that is engulfed in, the, in these markets. You know what? That's why I like going, and I try to go almost every week just to pop into the one at Budanul in, in, in Buerka. In Buerka. Because yeah. I seem to be going there 
because my father grew up in in work ah. you know he was born there he, for his, the, his formative years and then they moved out of work up to district six mm. um and so he has um a relationship with the area nice. and Fresh. now that he sees it's so vibrant oh, and of man. course he goes to the we go to the market yeah. and we are forever bumping into some Stunning. or if sometimes people that we that we just meet and yet they have a relationship with Stunning. the area as well Stunning. and they've also moved out of Stunning. the area so there's these beautiful conversations necessary conversations now, that hold people now together. Now that is why I like going in Ramadan to the Mastiff Iftars and you know yes. things like that yes. and we'll be there in Gua Cup this year as well inshallah look, look out for that's us. Wonderful. But that's all that we have for our viewers today. Shukran so much for him for coming that's into the studio and sharing uh, obviously bringing Charmaine on and also the wonderful um, uh, markets that you've spoken about as well. Have a great weekend. You too. I mean I spoke about halal markets only this weekend. That's there we go. Pre-Ramadan clearly. Jacob but shukran is always good. <laughs> <laughs> shukran so much for him. And uh, that's how we end what's on after the break. It's the sports desk with uh, Firo Sheikh. Look out for that one. We've got some very special guests and some great information. You are still watching Hilal Live.